Something new today, the no phone. A fake phone for people addicted to real phones. The back of the package claims more than 10,000 of these have been sold. Now, the Wall Street Journal has been known to report things out of context though, so who knows what the real number might be. But with zero gigs of storage, no Wi-Fi, and a solid black display, the specs are interesting enough. But is it durable? That's what we're here to find out. Let's get started. The exterior packaging is less than impressive. Doesn't even come in a normal box. But there is a small paper with instructions. The no phone is a technology-free alternative to constant hand-to-phone -to -phone contact that helps you stay connected to the real world. So if you're on a date, you hold the no phone and look at your date. But let's be honest, if you actually bought this, you probably won't ever have to worry about that situation. The front of the no phone is obviously the side with the home button and the earpiece. It's even got a front-facing camera. We'll start with the scratch test. My Mohs picks tell us where the material falls on Mohs scale of hardness. Most smartphones with a tempered glass screen scratch at a level 6. The level 2 pick has a plastic tip. And the plastic rubbing on plastic doesn't do too much damage. But the level 3 pick started to leave some permanent marks. There aren't too many plastic screen phones out there. The Droid Turbo 2, the Galaxy S7 Edge, and the Nintendo Switch. But they do exist. The level 4 pick left an even deeper groove on the phone. People always comment asking how I can live with myself after damaging so many devices on my YouTube channel. And it's actually pretty easy. I lost most of my soul paying for textbooks in college. The home button is down at the bottom of the display, and it's not so much of a button, but more of a pad. And it probably doesn't scan fingerprints very well. It worked just as well after the scratching as it did before the scratching though. So that's good. The earpiece at the top seems to be made out of plastic, and even after being heavily scratched, it's still 100% waterproof. This is probably the only device I will ever say is waterproof. Every other phone is only water resistant. There's a hugely important difference in the wording. Waterproof is truly impressive. The front zero megapixel camera lens is covered by the same material that is over the screen, so it's going to be equally prone to scratching. The most unfortunate part is, is that the camera does not come with OIS. And y'all know I ain't about that non-OIS life, so I won't be able to make this my daily driver purely for that reason alone. The rear camera is equally lacking in OIS, but it does have that outer lip to help protect the inner lens from damage. There's literally no glass anywhere to be found on this back panel. And you want to know something else that can't be found? The headphone jack. Which means this solid block of black plastic is eerily similar to the iPhone 7 when it comes to functionality. Now a few hundred years ago in the 16th century, France changed up their yearly calendar, moving New Year's Day from April to January. Some French citizens obviously didn't get the memo and continued celebrating New Year's on the wrong day. Celebrating a holiday on the wrong day is a valid reason to get made fun of. With time, April 1st became Le Poisson d'Avril, or the fish of April. It became a custom to tape a paper fish to someone's back without them noticing. Pranks were a little more chill back then. And that's why a fish is now on the back of this phone. I'll be honest, with all that plastic, I legit think it would be cool if no phone released a more premium metal version in the future. A flagship no phone. The power button is made of plastic as well. And over here it looks like we have either a full size USB port, or maybe it's just a hold button. A yeah, full size USB port would be pretty sweet though. It's time for the burn test. A normal cell phone would last anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds before getting a reaction. Even the Nintendo Switch lasted 15 seconds before the screen got disfigured. The no phone started black and then, well, it just stayed black, but after about 10 seconds it got all bubbly and stuff. At this point, you might be wondering what series of your life decisions led you to be watching a grown man scratching a plastic block on the internet, and I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure either. But if you need to pause the video and rethink your life, that's okay with me. The rest of us will be watching the bin test. Most phones do survive this ultimate test of build quality, and the no phone is no different. The solid slab of black plastic will definitely stand the test of time. Whether it's in your back pocket, front pocket, or even ran over by a semi-truck or jumbo jet, it's an incredibly durable device. If there's someone in your life who might be a little too attached to their phone, maybe they need to see this video. Or better, I'll put a link in the video description for those of you who need a no phone of your very own. The no phone very well could be an accurate foreshadow of the next iPhone, if Apple courageously keeps removing features like they have in the past. Behind the scenes can always be found on my Twitter and Instagram.
And happy April 1st, everybody. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.